Hey guys, okay, so I just want to make a fairly quick video here today. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this Arians Icon XD 52 inch. This is the one here that I bought. Well, I actually bought both of them. Um, but I just want to make this video because at the end of the day, I narrowed my decision on which zero turn mower I was going to pick up uh, down to this mower. So these mowers, they, they're supposed to be the same. This one here, I bought at Lowe's, and this one I bought from an Arians dealer, uh, not, you know, maybe five kilometers away. So same location, everything. They are supposed to be the exact same mower other than the motor. So if you guys don't, aren't super familiar with these, so what we have here is, it's the Icon XD, and where are we here? So we got the Icon XD 52, Icon XD 52, as you can see. The two model numbers are 915266 and 915267. So basically the two different model numbers basically mean you're either getting the Kohler V-twin engine or the Kawasaki uh, V-twin. Um, so yeah, other than that, they're the exact same more. As you can see, they're the exact same list price. At the end of the day, I did pay more for the one at the dealer. So with tax and everything, I'm in Canada, I got HST on sale, so it came to 63.22.35. The one at Lowe's was pretty, quite a bit cheaper, 55.27.45, and there's a reason for that. So the reasons are, they're not the same. So when you're, you know, you're at the dealer and you're like, why are you charging like five, six, seven hundred dollars more for this mower when it's the same thing? It's not the same thing. So the differences are, that I've been able to find anyway, the obvious differences, or I would say the biggest one is the seat. So this is the one from the dealer. Uh, as you can see, the seat, you know, nice stitching, a uh, little bit, it, it is more comfortable. It's more plush, it's got more foam. This is the seat on the Lowe's one, you know, thin, super thin. This one's thick. Um, backrest isn't as high. There's no armrests. And the biggest thing I saw was the seat adjuster. So this is your seat adjuster to go forward and back. You would lift that and you slide forwards and backwards. So let me just show you the underside. There's the mechanism. So you, you pull that and lets the pin out and you can slide the seat up and down. This one here has the mechanism or half the mechanism, but you have to adjust the seat with this knob here. You turn the knob and you slide it. And this thing basically does nothing. It's just there for, this is the cheaper version. Um, and also I really didn't like is how when this is down, this is as far forward as this seat will go. And when you're sitting in the seat, it is constantly vibrating on the motor. And eventually, and there's issues with guys where the motor housing cracks, cracks right here because it just can't take the seat hitting it all day long. Uh, so there's that other thing. So yeah, the biggest thing is the seat. No, no armrests. The handlebars, these are rubber with some kind of, you know, little, indents in here a lot nicer a lot more cushiony these are just those socks you see on everything from shovels to wheelbarrows to whatever just like a neoprene i think you know it's like on a million different things uh so there's that the motor if you want to get down to the motor and honestly in my opinion if you, if you had a kawasaki motor and a kohler sitting here i'd probably pick the kawasaki so that is one advantage they have uh, for the cheaper one, but at the same time, these are very, very good motors. These are very, very good motors. It's like you're just basically picking a name. And if I had to pick a name, it'd be Kawasaki. But this is a very good motor. It's one horsepower more. Uh, if that makes a difference to you guys. Um, so yeah, the motor is the same. What were the other differences? Oh, the tires. Okay, so the tires on these are a little different. These are actually Kenda tires, 20 by 10 by eight. Uh, these are good tires. These are more like of a Chinese knockoff brand. It doesn't even have the brand name. It just says nylon tubeless tires. Uh, same size, a little bit different um, grip pattern or tread pattern. These ones are a little tighter. These are a little bit more spaced apart. Uh, but yeah. Um, I guess I should just start both of them here just so you can hear them maybe. And you can decide what you think of the motors. So yeah, I'll just put that down. Kawasaki, we'll do the Kohler. So 
not a huge difference, but I mean, there might be a difference there. Um, so yeah, overall, I just wanted to let you guys know that, that there is a difference in uh, some of the, I think one of the most important things is this seat. You're in this thing all the time when you're using this machine, so it should be comfortable. Um, so if, it, if the $500 more, it seems like too much uh, to you guys, then definitely go with the Lowe's. It's gonna be, uh, it's a pretty good price. But if you want like the top, top, top of the line quality in this range, keep in mind it's a high-end residential, this is not a commercial mower, then I'd go with the dealership and get one that has, you know, the better seat, the nicer handlebars, the better tires. The front tires are the same. Uh, they're almost identical. They're not the exact same, but they're like same size. They look like this, they're the same four ply rating. Um, so there's no different with though, different difference with those. Uh, the shoots the same on both, same quality, uh, same plastic. All the decals for the most part are the same, as you can see. Not that that really matters, but sometimes they cheap out on those things. So as far as I know, I, I don't really have a lot of hours on these machines. Like this one only has 0 0.5 on that was just taking it off the trailer. That thing has 26 hours on it, but that's because someone left the key on for a full day at the dealership, but it's never cut grass before. So, yeah, so like I said, I'll be doing a review on this mower and uh, it's either already posted or I'll post it after this video and we'll be going doing a total walkthrough of this. And then I'll do a subsequent video uh, later on after I got a few hours, few cuts, um, just talking about how it runs and how it performs. And I have another cool video too that I'm working on or it might already be up. Uh, I'm replacing this mower with a Cub Cadet 42 inch riding tractor, which has been a great mower for me. Um, and I mowed the place that I usually mow the field. Um, with that, I timed it. It was one hour, 20 minutes or something like that. One 18 or 20 minutes. And we're gonna see how much faster we can get it done with this. So that'll be kind of a cool comparison. Um, so yeah, hope this video is informative to some people who are looking at this mower and wondering what the difference is between Lowe's and a dealership. Well, this is the difference. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.